अपेंडिक्स वन बेसिक नॉलेज रिक्वायरमेंट नाउ दिस अपेंडिक्स इज अ लेवल ऑफ नॉलेज रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर द डिफरेंट कैटेगरी एज वी नो एम ई लाइसेंस इज इन थ्री कैटेगरी ए बी एंड सी नाउ फॉर दिस कैटेगरी वॉट इज अ नॉलेज रिक्वायरमेंट वी विल सी इन दिस पार्ट वी विल सी वॉट इज द डिफरेंट नॉलेज रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर कैटेगरी ए बी वन बी टू बी थ्री एंड सी आई रिमेंबर वन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट कैट सी लाइसेंस वी गेट आफ्टर ऑप्टेनिंग सर्टन एक्सपीरियंस एज अ बी वन और बी टू लाइसेंस होल्डर विच वी हैव स्टडीड अर्लियर इन सब पार्टी ऑलरेडी सो ओवर हियर रिमेंबर दैट दैट द रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर कैट सी नॉलेज लेवल इज आइदर बी वन और बी टू सो वॉट एवर एग्जाम वी विल गो थ्रू नॉलेज लेवल विल बी ऑफ थ्री टाइप लेवल वन दैट इज फैमिलाइजेशन विथ प्रिंसिपल एलिमेंट मीन्स एप्लीकेंट शुड नो वॉट इज सब्जेक्ट अबाउट एंड ही शुड बी एबल टू डिस्क्राइब द होल सब्जेक्ट इन सिंपल डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड ही शुड बी एबल टू यूज टिपिकल टर्म्स ऑफ दैट सब्जेक्ट let us take model 10 syllabus as an example and understand it 10.1 regulatory framework so this subject requirement is level 1 for all category so as a applicant you should know basic about 10.1 like aapko pata hona chahiye role of icao kya hai dgca ka role kya hai and you should be able to define this in simple word आपको इसका बस बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग होना चाहिए यू शुड बी फैमिलराइज विद दिस लेवल टू जनरल नॉलेज विच शुड बी थियोरेटिकल एंड प्रैक्टिकल एज वेल एंड यू शुड बी एबल टू अप्लाई दिस नॉलेज अब लेवल टू में आपको पता होना चाहिए थियोरेटिकल चीज़ें ऑफ दैट सब्जेक्ट एंड यू शुड बी एबल टू गिव अ जनरल डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दैट सब्जेक्ट एंड एबल टू यूज mathematical formulas which applies to it as well as you should have a understanding of sketches drawing and schematic knowledge example abhi jo hum padh rahe hain cr 66 iska knowledge requirement is level 2 matlab hame cr 66 theoretically thorough hona chahiye but iska practical use kya hai if you know cr 66 you will be aware क्या चीज़ें करने से आपका लाइसेंस कैंसिल हो सकता है नाउ अबाउट एग्जांपल ऑफ स्केचेस, ड्राइंग एंड स्कीमेटिक बेस्ट विल बी मॉडल 15। सो एज पर लेवल टू नॉलेज यू शुड बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस स्कीमेटिक्स, ड्राइंग्स एंड स्केचेस। लेवल थ्री डिटेल नॉलेज थियोरिटिकल एंड प्रैक्टिकल नाउ इन दिस यू शुड नो द थ्योरी ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट एंड द रिलेशन ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट with other you should be able to use mathematical formulas and able to read sketches as well as prepare them you should be able to interpret results and measurements and apply the corrective action let us take a example of this also module 15.21 engine monitoring and ground operations procedure for starting and ground run of engine so as per level 3 एप्लीकेंट को थियोरेटिकली पता होना चाहिए हाउ इंजन स्टार्ट और इंजन का रनअप कैसे देते हैं एप्लीकेंट को पता होना चाहिए एज पर मैन्युफैक्चर इंस्ट्रक्शन इंजन कैसे स्टार्ट होता है एंड इफ कोई प्रॉब्लम आ रहा है तो हाउ ही कैन यूज हिज नॉलेज एंड रेक्टिफाई इट इन सिंपल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिमेंबर जस्ट कीप इन माइंड दिस थ्री की वर्ड्स लेवल वन यू शुड हैव अ जनरल फेमराइजेशन ऑफ subject level 2 you should have a general knowledge and for level 3 you should have a detailed knowledge of subject now this knowledge level will be applied to the subject as per the license category which you are going through so this is all about basic knowledge requirement modularization now total there are 17 modules divided as per the license category you are going for Let us understand this table. The cross over here refers to the ap applicable module as per the license category which you have opted for. 
Let us understand this with example. B1.1 Aeroplane with a turbine engine Remember one important thing. Whatever license category you are going for, DGC have exempted you from module 1 and 2. So module 1 and 2 is not applicable for us. So for B1.1, the modular requirements are module 3, 4, 5, 6, 7A, 8, 9A, 10, 11A, 15 and 17A. Now look over this unique part 7B, 9B, 11C and 17B. These modules are specially for the B3 category. So looking at this table you can easily understand the modular requirement for your respective categories. Ok next is module syllabus. Whatever module you are going through, by looking at this you can understand which subtopics you need to study and which is not applicable for you and to which knowledge level you need to study. Let us understand this with an example. Module 4 syllabus, this one, diode. Now these subtopics need not to be required to be studied if you are going for CAT -A license. For B1 and B2, they need to study still knowledge level 2 means general knowledge they should have about this topic. And for B3, they require knowledge level 1 that is they need to have a general familiarization of this topic. Appendix 2 Basic Examination Standard So we know what is module and their categories applicable as well as what knowledge level you should have for the different category. Now let us see what is the examination standard set by DGCA for the basic examination. Examination will be MCQ that is multiple choice questions. Options will be more than two of which correct option will be only one. But important to remember over here is average time per question is 75 seconds and passing mark is 75%. No penalty marking is there. Now this point, it says failed module ka re-exam 90 days se pehle nahi ho sakta. But that student can reappear in 30 days if the maintenance training organization makes a retraining program on that failed model. If I say in simple, ye standard applicable tabhi hoga jab ek AME college khud basic exam conduct karega. As far as we know, the basic examinations are taken by DGCA, which is at a gap of average 90 days generally, if you skip the current situation. Look at this point. Limitation module. If you have failed, it can be retaken in 30 days. I hope you remember what is limitation part. The person who have already cleared their DGCA paper before CR66 came into force. So for them, they need to clear some limitation modules. So this point is on their if you have failed the limitation model, you can reappear in 30 days. But for others, it's a 90 days. Remember this. 66A.25 It's mentioned there the time duration under which you need to clear your all module is 10 years. But there are some exceptions. Jin ki upar ye 10 years ka period applicable nahi hota hai. Example. A person have passed the all module of B1.1 and have a license issued in B1.1 category. If he want to endorse for B1.2 category in his license, then he need to clear some modules again. Like B1.1 was about turbine engine aeroplane, which he, which he have cleared already. For B1.2, he need to clear some piston engine module as well as some airframe related to it. So in this situation, the 10 year time duration is not applicable for him. Now this point, ek module 3 bar de sakte ho. And if you fail, you need to wait for 1 year. Ye point ko samajhte there are many misconceptions about it. Suppose in 2020 you have, you have failed in module 15 in Feb session. Then again you failed in June session. And in October you gave other module. And in 2021, Feb session, you gave model 15 and failed again. Now you have to wait for one year from Feb 2021 to give this model again. 
we have this table which is all about the time duration and the total marks for the particular module so let us see for mod 10 category a and b3 the total marks is 32 with time duration of 40 minutes means आपको 40 minutes के अंदर 32 MCQs solve करने हैं and the passing percentage will be 24 and for B1 and B2 it's 40 marks and the time duration 50 minutes and the passing percentage is 30 marks in the earlier pattern of DGC examination when you used to clear paper 1, paper 2 and paper 3 DGC used to issue basic aircraft maintenance basic aircraft maintenance engineering certificate in CR 66 we get a backache basic knowledge examination certificate which is issued by CEO for this you need to apply on CA form 19-11 let us understand this with example a person has opted for B1.1 license category and he have cleared all the model requirement for B1.1 category so once he have done with this he will apply to CEO DGCA for the issue of BECEC on 19-11 now this certificate will give a proof that he have cleared all the modular requirement of B1.1 currently DGC have not issued a BECEC to anyone it's still in process 